Hey Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host Shazib signing in. We're back with another video guys. In this video we will be discussing Casper Network, the FUD in focus. It's going to be an interesting video guys so make sure to watch till the end. And folks, for those of you who are new to the channel, we primarily discuss utility coins and potential gems. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, then uh, subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon for regular videos. You can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon. So do check that out as well. Now, guys, whenever, whenever the price dips uh, or something like that happens, there is a lot of fud in the air and people have negative comments and all of that stuff so i wanted to cover basically a few of them and uh, basically uh, show how sentiments uh, quickly ch change in crypto guys so uh, yeah let us first and foremost begin with the price of uh, casper at the time of the recording guys check this out so cspr is down 4.72 percent for the day at the time of the recording, the price is dollar zero point zero four one two three. Uh, the market overall has dipped a bit, uh, including Bitcoin, which had a small dip. But uh, check this out: five point five one percent CSPR for the day. If you look at the seven-day chart, Casper Network is down seventeen point one nine percent. If we look at uh, now sixteen point five three. So yeah, one-month chart, guys. Uh, it is down five point five six percent. It uh, it had a really good run up. Uh, yeah, this was a really good rally. It began from 21st October to 19th October, approximately, uh, all the way to from uh, 0 0.029, 0 0.030, all the way to 0 0.055. The sentiments were extremely high. People were bullish that, yeah, now it will go on and uh, break this resistance. So there are people in uh, crypto are of two extremes. I mean, uh, I remember people saying that now this is it and uh, it will go on and blow up and go on to basically test out 0 0.10, 0 0.12 and all of, the, uh, all of uh, all that price range basically. But all of a sudden I'm seeing a gloomy uh, scenario in X and elsewhere. Uh, so, yeah, basically the price has dipped. Uh, this was a crucial support level over here. Uh, this was broken, 0 0.044. But uh, in my opinion, this is the, the, the range that X, uh, CSPR now is in. This is much more crucial, especially this, this support area over here, 0 0.040, 0 0.039, and this range over here. Yeah, 0 0.038, 0 0.039. It might even come and uh, test out this uh, area over here, 0 0.036. Uh, yeah, this you guys can see this uh, range over here, this line over here. Basically, it act, always acts as a mag magnet in a range. And uh, it might then uh, come and test these levels out. And after that, it might go back up again if... Uh, Things uh, there if the news is bullish and uh, we get uh, we get catalysts basically. But you you guys know that uh, in crypto, uh, good projects that are there for the long run go through these phases. And CSPR network guys, Casper network is doing uh, is is phenomenal. It's doing phenomenal phenomenally well in terms of development, in terms of what it is doing. And uh, and uh, the 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 partnerships with IBM, with the likes of IBM, and uh, the use cases like patent NF, uh, NFTs, guys, intellectual uh, property NFTs, and all of that stuff, guys. So CSPR has that rolling for it. So in my opinion, in the long run, still, regard regardless of the FUD and everything, it remains a good project in my opinion. But let me show you some interesting. Uh, posts and all of that check this out this is january 21st 2024 is cspr a long-term rug uh, so whenever price dips a lot of uh, comments a lot of posts uh, like this also come up uh, i'm not uh, I, I really think that these 
fur I'm, I won't call it fur I, w- I will call it these negative points and all of that sometimes they are really good for uh, a project as well uh, the crypto community even uh, regards a logical rational question as fud that is not correct i mean if a project is really legitimate it is is it good uh, it need, they need to be answered like all of that stuff but uh, in like the, like a post like this i mean uh, is it a long term rug this is a question but you i think it needs a bit of more clarification that why is it a rug and all of that so he's basically asking and now check this out the people that have responded uh, so this is a legit question i mean people need to lo- there are a lot of people that do not know what casper is and they need to learn this is not merely a uh, fart for the sake of fart anyways people thought the exact same thing about ada at 3 cents and where did it go without enterprise adoption i now what i i know what i hold and have done the research cspr is going to blow people away those without patience will be left wondering what happened to ada doesn't have to happen happen to casper like it is inevitable this is just a speculation you're right all of crypto is speculation at this point however casper has much more going on as far as enterprise partnerships than ada did when it pumped yeah logical ada was listed on all tier 1 exchanges had defi apps development etc yeah this is logical again casper partnerships have been vapor to this point might want to take another look much more than vapor yeah listing will happen to well established to not be listed at some point personally think they are keeping it off exchanges until their partners get set up and purchase they are built for enterprise not retail so yeah they are focusing on enterprise basically they are basically focusing on enterprise adoption and uh, not retail they are specializing in that uh, uh, sector dude ipwe isn't happening who knows if ibn will ever use them there is more than that buy it or don't don't know skin of my back we aren't even in the full bull and i've seen nice rewards and returns uh any other response okay better sell it all no need i have a moon bag but i highly doubt this shit is going anywhere no coin has that anything yet man a few have popped off but that's it i'm in cspr for the long haul so you guys see uh whenever price hits a lot of things i mean the sentiments change in a in a, in a, in a all of a sudden remember the ipwe patent mint started starting last summer then september october november 2024 and here we are still nothing whenever uh, uh, a thing uh, i mean people are hyped about uh, the nft mints and uh, they thought that it is going to be happening in 2023 uh, in the q4 2023 but uh, if it hasn't happened if it has it ha- hasn't happened yet so that is also a reason for the sentiment change and uh, these fud being these all of this fud starting negativity coming up on the horizon yes of course every crypto project could be a long term rug even btc <laughs> for casper i won't call a rug i would call it a failed project i mean it it hasn't even started yet how can it be a failed project when it hasn't even get, it is basically in a development phase i mean yeah it is developing it is constantly forging partnerships and this is not a time to call the project failed i mean if the price and uh, the developments remain stagnant for the next uh, say 5 7 years uh 10 years i've uh, 10 years okay not 10 years okay five years at least then we can call it five to seven years then we can call it that and that that is that can be argued upon because uh, uh the people in the crypto industry are extremely extremely uh impatient in my opinion uh like uh, in the in the share market and the stocks you might remember um, you you might call amazon a failure if it uh, it if it comes to pure uh, development uh, longevity that the development that it took the time frame of development that it took to basically become what it became or microsoft and all of that stuff i mean projects take time to build up anyways the chart does not look good i'd rather go where things are happening like h bar good go, good no god no why do you hold it still lol all you do is fud it my target casper 3 usd same ada 2021 i still believe it could improve anyways let us let me show you another one this is from uh, same po- same handle 
I think Casper will never be listed into Tier 1 exchanges as I think they are not complying with their rules, especially on these areas, transparent and auditable operations, token economics and distribution. This is a post where uh, Binance has po posted certain uh, listing criteria, but they list a lot of meme coins all the time. So don't, I do not know where these uh, uh, where this uh, uh, criteria lies. Nonsense, 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 lots of meme, meme coin listed on T1 uh, centralized exchange. I think when Casper will be listed, it is the right time, maybe in days, months, or years. It's crow.com, not Tier 1. Transparency is a key strength. That's why Casper is listed on OKX and Uphold. It is the fact there is no longer a focus on user-centric app dApps. This, the token will fail without a, 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 an explosion of dApps. Uh, now, Casper associations have failed miserably. Why would a T1 exchange like Binance list a project that calls itself a layer one but has no ecosystem? So a lot of people saying that they need a DeFi to survive and uh, the others say that no, this is a uh, long-term dispute and disagreement between the Casper in the Casper community. Okay, so uh, yeah, 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 yep, dropped 50%, not much by the way. Uh, I like what they're doing, but depending on institutional adoption and not building stuffs for crypto, people have no crypto economy is a mistake. So yeah, people, uh, most of people, they are, they also say that a lot of people, not most, they say that, yeah, you need a crypto economy based on retail as well. But they are focusing on enterprises. That is their manifesto. Developed for three years, but still cannot meet the basic criteria of a reputable exchange. Maybe people should look at reality. A reputable exchange. Binance has also done some notorious stuff, so we cannot call that. Uh, yeah, Casper shitcoin, bro. Now dead coin. So uh, he Krish uh, Krishi Krishix has tagged two of uh, the uh, accounts that are really uh, covering uh, Casper network. Kevin Cage, Tokenizer. What do you think about this? What do you think about this, bro? So. They always talk about Casper. So I really like it when uh, the price dips and there is a lot of questions, the points. I mean, a lot of them uh, should be, I mean, uh, uh, tackled, in my opinion, as far as the crypto economy is concerned. Casper Network is basically focusing on enterprise institu uh, institutional adoption and enterprises. And... Uh, as far as the T1 exchanges are concerned, that is basically whenever the volumes rise and the, a coin gets popular, they get listed anyways without those criteria and all of that stuff. So, yeah. What do you guys think about uh, the negativity uh, uh, around Casper Network uh, that that has come up after the dip in price in the last month or so? Uh, sentiments were high. When, when it was pumping, but since that time, uh, a, a, a few of uh, these negative posts are here uh, are coming up. So what do you guys think about it? Uh, where should Casper Network uh, improve? For uh, Where the pro project needs to get better and all of that stuff, uh, you guys can discuss in the comment box below. And uh, yeah, I would like to uh, read them, guys. Anyways, this was it for the video. If you liked it, make sure to like, share, comment, and uh, subscribe, and hit the notification icon uh, if you're interested in utility coins and potential gems. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon. Like I always say at the end, until next time, stay blessed and stay tuned. Thank you very much, everyone.